Hello everyone, my name is Michelle and I hope that this background scenery is okay with you. It's definitely probably better. I got five or ten comments from people like saying, your videos are triggering my stimuli in my brain. And I'm like, that makes sense. <laughs> Make sure to comment below how you like the background. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. It makes my day every single subscriber. Namaste. So today we are going to be talking about Acacia Kersey. Enjoy the video. If you do not know who this is, it's my friend from YouTube. She became famous from Tumblr. and have a YouTube channel. and then she switched to Instagram, made a lot of her income from Instagram influencing. Acacia Kersey was born on October 22nd of 1997. She is from Boston, Massachusetts. Acacia essentially made the decision to quit social media when her scams kind of fell through and she got caught for one of them, which consisted of literally stealing someone's presets, which is like an Instagram filter basically, and you sell those for up to $30, and she literally stole them all, changed the temperature a little bit from this small woman creator, and tried to sell them as her own, and she would not admit that until she was literally forced to because the creator was like, look, I do these special things to my pictures to be sure that no one duplicates it, and so she was like, oh shit, I would rather not bring this to the public. Acacia's controversies started when she made racist jokes when she was a teenager. I think she started when she was like 14. And at that time, unfortunately, it was really common to use phrases like that. And she did it consistently. There's a bunch of footage on it, everlasting online. She's also known for animal abuse. She has adopted up to six pets, um, two cats, and three or four dogs. She has just returned them. She ended up having three children. The first is named Brindley. The second I'm going to be talking about is Rosemary because her mother is extremely, it's, it's distressing to watch this on YouTube because you are actively watching a child being traumatized. Acacia was very young when she had Rosie. I know she was like 19 when she had her first child and then she was like 20 when she had her second. But she just gave off, like, I was so surprised when I found out her age because she gives off this more old motherly vibe. So, not that it's excusable whatsoever, but Acacia makes these mistakes as though she hasn't fully learned them or for herself. During the pandemic, Acacia decided to go on a ship and in a hot tub while she's pregnant and it's very much dissed upon that. Like, I, I cannot imagine that baby is boiling in there like a hot egg, like a boiling egg. When her daughter was diagnosed with ACC or something like that, which is a genetic disease in which her chromosomes are off and it could be, it could mean extremely different things and it could mean things with the liver and Acacia was just in very much denial, which is very common with parents. When she was born, she kept the baby for a long period of time and she was just so malnourished. Um, and you could see that in her and people would comment on it and be like, oh my god, your ba like, are, is your baby okay? I'm so sorry. And she was like, 
no, she's fine. And it was finally when she had to go to the hospital where she was inserted a feeding tube. One thing that was extremely distressing to me as a social work major is that Acacia basically, when she had Rosemary, was unable to bond with her as much for whatever reason that was, whether it was because she was more interested in Jairus, which was her dad. When she was born, she was very malnutritious, malnutritioned, malnutritioned. And so they decided when they took baby pictures of Rosemary, they would not hang them up, like zoom them up and make a big painting out of it on your wall. They did that for Brinley, but they did not do that for Rosie. And then Acacia lied about it online and said it was because they decided not to do baby pictures until she plumped up a little, but that was a lie. Another really bothersome thing to me, and I am a younger sister of two, the first year of Rosemary's life, she was literally referred to as Sissy in these vlogs and videos she did, which is really sad, like, because that kind of makes her as a place as like, that is her job and that's her reason for, and it's like, no, like I am my own separate being. I'm not attached to that person in any way. Acacia decided that she would just shave off of Rosie's hair because it was getting crazy, whatever that might mean. Rosie's hair was getting a little crazy. So we shaved it off. There it is. There is evidence on Acacia's Instagram, and I know you're like, well, are you nitpicking? And I'm like, no, because literally there's evidence in the pictures of Rosie literally being completely separated from the way that Brinley is being treated. And this is something that happens a lot on their Instagram, where you'll see Brinley with really nice hair. Um, there's a situation in which they went up to the mountains. Everyone was dressed in like their winter coat because presumably it was really cold out. And you could see that that Rosie Rosemary had like red cheeks and she was only wearing like one of those baby onesies and she just looked cold and very unhappy and in all of the pictures it just seems like she doesn't want to be taking a picture. Acacia actually is known to not take care of her own nails and unfortunately Rosemary is too young to understand how to take care of your nails. She doesn't know that that's a thing and so her fingernails were growing super long and it just looks really uncomfortable. <laughs> I just saw a cat. So it is very very common for there to be pictures, videos, whatnot everywhere where Rosie is on the floor, literally just laying on the floor. And as a social work major or as a normal human being, you see that and you're like, that's not how it's supposed to, like that's freaking traumatizing. And then when Acacia addresses it, she said, no, this is what the doctor said is best because she needs to learn to crawl. So you have to just put her on the ground and it's best for her to just be alone and lay there. And as someone who has experience in a similar fashion at that age, that is absolutely traumatizing and to see that that like on the internet and like it just seems like Acacia doesn't understand that her children are little babies and she just kind of uses them as like Polly Pockets. Rosie's over here. Are you eating an apple? Are you eating an apple on the floor? Did daddy give you an apple? They chose to paint a table when Rosemary was literally on the floor at like 12 a.m. and it's she's awake, like just laying there. There was an instance in which Acacia was trying to get into the gamer girl sort of situation because she said she liked the aesthetic and she was once recording for Twitch and you could hear Rosie crying like crazy in the background, like screaming. And she was like, okay, let me just finish up this one boss or whatever. And then she went to take care of Rosie and you could just hear Rosie crying at the top of her lungs. And then she quickly runs back in to play the game. And I'm like, how did you make Rosie be quiet so quickly? Like, Stepped on her. Oh, no. Yeah. 
What, what did you do? You should have like ended the stream. This is a big dog. Another thing that is obviously controversial in today's society is smoking bud when you have children around and I understand that there's more of like a thing coming out around that it, it is okay to be smoking bud as long as like your children don't aren't seeing I don't know I'm not sure my opinion on that but not when you're living in a small trailer with your child and you're streaming for twitch who knows who's babysitting the child probably nobody and she was just smoking it and that is like, it's it's going to stink up the whole house. Another thing about Acacia is that she always claims that Rosie's too little to understand. She gets all of these new things for her older daughter Brinley, but she says that Rosie is too young to understand, such as she will take cards and just wrap them back up and reuse them for different holidays because she is too lazy to go out and get a new one, but she's doing all these gifts for Brinley because she says, well, Brinley's gonna remember this. Another thing is that Acacia Acacia was claiming that Rosie was hitting these milestones such as crawling, standing up, and it was clear that she wasn't making these milestones, which is important to note for the child's development. It was also true that Rosie actually had to have open heart surgery because she was having these difficulties and so she finally had to go to the emergency room and she had to be airlifted to another hospital because of how severe it was. And right after she got this open heart surgery, I don't even know if she was one years old, she was definitely not two years old, and right after she got the surgery, they went on this hiking trip and it was like treacherous and there was a lot of bridges and streams and there's this one picture of her holding the child up over the stream and it's like how why would you even post that the child does not look happy by any means so acacia has since left the internet because of a lot of her scandals recently i had another large creator acacia kersey some of you may know her as acacia brinley steal my presets she didn't steal them, she purchased them herself under her name. And she put them up as her own and acted like she had worked really hard on them, pretty much. I called her out for this, and the whole situation has been weird energy from the beginning. I'm just not happy with how things are going and how she's handled this. She basically, I think, just wants it to kind of blow over, and she can go back to being an influencer and whatever, which to each their own but i just personally feel like she's twisting the narrative a little bit she's definitely trying to take control of how she's being perceived online she has been called out for stealing a lot of stuff and i can't imagine all the things that she stole that she did get away with and i'm genuinely like thinking about her and i'm wondering if that is truly who she is because there's a lot about her background and how she was always compared to her brother and always felt that she wasn't as good as her brother. Regarding the racist comments, she grew up with a father who was like that, so now that she's getting older, she is starting to reach out about it, but it was literally only recently. So she left the internet in October of 2021 and moved to Patreon, and as we all know, Patreon is where people, YouTubers and influencers go when they're like kind of cancelled, and so Patreon can make it so that only specific people can see your stuff. People People say that she's posting like mediocre stuff on there, but then when Acacia started talking about it, she said that the reason she was offline is because she was journaling, discovering more about herself and her actions and why she did those things, and the fact that she was offline gives me the idea that, that this could be so, or she could just be lazy because it seems like a lot of the time her reasoning for most things is because she wants to get a quick buck, like she didn't seem to care that she could get in a lot of trouble for literally stealing these presets and be getting in a lot of trouble means that literally this is unforgivable like why would you do something like that and so looking at it for that perspective it's like all of these continuous things you would think well that's just who she is but I don't think that she's a narcissist I don't think that she's a narcissist I believe in her that she can get to better higher grounds but it I don't know I could be wrong because when she says that she's been working on herself she could also just be saying that because it is something that she has said many times in the past <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video make sure to comment below how you like the background give this video a thumbs up subscribe I would really really appreciate it it makes my day every single subscriber namaste have a good evening or any time that it is for you